What's up, everybody? Did I just sound like a YouTuber there? No? Alright, whatever. How's everyone doing? This is Steven. It's been a while since I posted a video about Jax. Um, no interesting excuses there, but long story short, I missed documenting his life and making this kind of short form content for you. So here I am back with another video. I apologize if my audio isn't great. I'm using a $20 headset that I found on Amazon three years ago. But hey, here's a video with Jax. So Jax is almost about three years old now. Um, I don't remember the last time, or I don't remember how old he was the last time I posted a video on YouTube. But time really flies. And at this point, Jax is totally settled into his personality at three years old. Um, he's happy, he's content. He has his routine where he's out here at the beach or on the nearby fields around the Chrissy area, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Every day, we'll be there. Lydia and I, my wife and I, we've kind of come up with this complex schedule that seems to fit. She works in the office uh, four days a week and I'm there twice a week. And despite the time away, we're still able to give Jax a really active life. He sleeps all day when he's at home and he plays hard when he's out, never destructive, never cries or barks when we're away and always calm and happy when he's at home. They say that Vishlas are clingy dogs and that's why they're commonly known as Velcro dogs. But we think Jax is especially clingy. I mean, you can see in this video, there he goes chasing after another dog, but he always keeps about like a 10 yard radius around Lydia and myself. And even that is a little bit far from him. He always needs to make sure that the pack is together. You can see here when I'm even kind of a couple steps back, he's constantly looking at me wondering, Hey dad, like why aren't you with us? And if I'm not step, like in step with everyone else, then he's always just making sure that I'm okay and that we're together. Jax is really good about being aware of my wife and I when we're out. You can see he's always trying to make eye contact with us and, um, you know, sometimes we want him to actually run and just like explore the environment around him. And because he's so clingy, it's hard to actually get him to to do that. And there are times where he does and usually when Lady and I are walking together, close together, he feels more free to kind of just go ahead of us, but um, when we're not and we're a little bit spread out, he really kind of tries to stay uh, between us. Jax really acts differently when he's at the beach versus when he's on the field and I think maybe it's because there's just different smells uh, for lack of a better phrase word. Um, he's at the beach, he really kind of, you can just see him activated, smelling the ground, smelling the sand. Um, sometimes he gets a little bit more of the zoomies when he's out here at the beach but also, there's just like different crowds. I mean, because we're there twice a day, there are regulars that are always on the beach and never on the grass. And then there are people that are always on the grass and stay off the beach. Um, so we can kind of... Jax has the best of both worlds, where Lydia loves being on the beach. I, uh, when I'm alone with Jax, I never go on the beach because I hate how the sand gets everywhere and especially if he runs through the ocean. Um, it's just another thing to, to clean later, but I'm glad Lydia likes taking him here. You know, for the last couple days in San Francisco, it's been really overcast. It's not been cold but it's been overcast and humid. 
almost that feeling like a storm is gonna hit, but it's just not. You can see in this video that today was just beautiful. Um, the sun was out, it was a little bit windy, but it was just so clear. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge there. Usually for the past couple of days, it's just been covered with fog. Um, you know, it's nice to just like walk on the sand, barefoot, with jacks, with just sunlight. Um, and you can see all the other people here and Jax didn't see any of his usual friends so if he does he would usually play harder with some of these dogs here but um, he would rather <laughs> stick with us and you've seen and you've already seen in, in um, the first couple of minutes where he sees some dogs and he kind of does this stalk um, and this point towards them and jumps and he greets them and then within a second or two he breaks off and comes back to us so uh, he's just a clingy visual like that. They say something about us, you listen. What they talking about on your timeline? That's cutting all in the my time. What they talking about on Here's Jax, um, about to go in his That's point. I think he sees time. some my doodle time. up there, and this is how he likes to kind of stalk dogs before he runs to play with them. Lydia and I love watching him get into that form. Um, we think it's it's so cool and it's really interesting when he points at another Vishla and when they point at each other and sometimes there'll be a stalemate where Jax and another Vishla will just be stalking and being in point position for uh, for minutes, sometimes like five minutes straight to the point where Lady and I have to just snap them out of it so they can play. Uh, but it's really cool to just see them do what they innately uh, do. And this is a little 360 shot I have of Jax here, now at 50 pounds. Kind of been stabilized at that, that weight for a while now. But um, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a great day. Don't know where we stand. I used to hit you about everything. Oh, oh, you still good. Oh, you still good.